Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT897 Plus. The AT897 Plus is designed specifically for use with Yaesu FT897 and FT897D radios. This video will help you get your AT897 Plus up and running quickly, and is a supplement to the information contained in the AT897 Plus Owner's Manual. To begin installation of the AT897 Plus, first, turn off your FT897. Since we'll be bolting the AT897 Plus onto the FT897, it's a good idea to also remove the power cable from the radio. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws holding on the four rubber feet on the left side of the radio. Set aside the screws and the feet, as we'll be using them later. Now remove the four screws that hold on the lid of the AT897+. Plus. Set these aside also. Remove the lid from the AT897+. Plus. With the S jacks on the AT897 Plus facing the rear of the FT897, line up the AT897 Plus so that the holes in the printed circuit board are over the mounting holes on the side of the radio. Using the four supplied screws, attach the AT897 Plus to the side of the radio. Do not over tighten the screws. Now, using the screws you saved from the FT897, attach the radio's original rubber feet to the outside of the lid of the AT897+. Slide the lid of the AT897 Plus back onto the tuner and secure it with the four screws you removed earlier. Connect a coax jumper from the HF 50 MHz jack on the back of the FT897 to the SO239 jack marked radio on the back of the AT897+. Plus. Connect one end of the supplied radio interface cable to the mini DIN jack marked radio on the rear of the AT897+. Plus. Connect the other end to the CAT linear jack on the back of the FT897. Connect your antenna's coax feed line to the jack marked antenna on the rear of the AT897+. Plus. LDG recommends that you connect the AT897+, Plus to your station ground using the provided nut marked ground, shown here. If you wish to control the FT897 radio with rig control software, Connect the rig interface cable to the jack marked computer on the rear of the AT897+. Plus. To complete installation, the radio must be set for CAT operation at 4800 baud. On the radio, press and hold the F button for one second to activate the extended menu system. Rotate the select knob until menu 1, EXT menu, appears. Rotate the main tuning dial until ON is showing. Now rotate the select knob until menu 19, cat rate, appears. Rotate the main tuning dial until 4800 BPS is showing. Turn the select knob one click clockwise to select menu 20, cat linear tuner. Rotate the main tuning dial until cat appears. Press and hold the F button for one second again to return to normal operation. To tune with the AT897 Plus, simply select the mode and frequency you'd like to operate, then press and hold the Tune button on the AT897 Plus for one second. 
The radio automatically switches to AM mode, transmits a carrier, and a tuning cycle begins. When the tuning cycle is complete, the radio is restored to operating mode. You're now ready to transmit. You can bypass the AT897 Plus by pushing the tune button momentarily. Push the tune button momentarily again to return to active mode. This concludes this video. Be sure to read your entire printed manual of your AT897 Plus to get the most out of your new tuner. Thank you.